My name is David Hudnall. I'm a professor of pathology at Yale University, where I'm directing, director of hematopathology. Yes, when I was in Galveston, I was uh, directing this, uh, what you would call a small group problem-based uh, learning model, where the students would break up into small groups of about 15 students in each group, and they were to work out problems, and in working out these medical problems, they would learn the science behind uh, medicine. And uh, it was a, a unique and challenging situation for me to teach in that fashion. And it was during that time, directing that course, that the idea for this book uh, became uh, a reality. So that I realized that there were a lot of hematology textbooks out there, but none of them really fit uh, the bill for us in our course. We needed a, a new text. So I started to work on this new text while I was in Galveston. And it took about three years to complete it. And uh, for many reasons we can go into, I think it's a somewhat unique text. I'm a big believer in explaining things at the basic level so that you can build on your basic knowledge and, and grow from there, but that you can't assume that the student knows uh, the basics. So I started with the very basics and built up from there. And that's why my text is a pathophysiology text. It's based on the underlying physiology of, of hematology and built on top of that the diseases and how that relates to when things go wrong with the, the normal physiology. And um, I also decided early on that it was something I wanted to do on my own. So I challenged myself to do this myself. So it's a single authored text, which is very unusual in this field of hematology. And um, the other thing that I did was, that, and in that way I was able to control the content and the consistency of the style. Stylistically, it's consistent. And um, the other thing I did was, I dispensed with references because although this seems radical, I found that the students only rarely were interested in the references behind these chapters. And it turns out that practically within a couple of years after each one of these references is referred to, they're out of date. And so in this age of the internet, I think there's, uh, there's very little reason to uh, to populate a book with thousands and thousands of references that are going to be, uh, many of them out of date by the time the book is in publication. It was a very good fit. Um, I was very happy to be uh, offered this opportunity to write this book for the physiology series um, because I think that again the underlying story here is one of physiology and then on top of that, pathophysiology is an understanding of disease. Um, I think my book may be slightly unique in the physiology series in that I spend so much time on pathophysiology. Uh, but I think uh, that's okay. I think um, this, the pathophysiology is important for the medical student to know not just normal function but abnormal function and so this book does that and I have to say that I was very pleased with the um, editorial assistance I got from Mosby in writing this book. Uh, they agreed to put in color plates which was a big plus for me because I don't think I could do this book without color plates and they were very very helpful in rendering my drawings of uh, figures that I created and uh, and making them you know decent art and uh, also the, the the people that reviewed the, the text for errors and that sort of thing were just fabulous and the book would be not nearly as good as it is without the, the editorial assistance yeah, of Mosby.